I'm going to share this quick video for those of you who have a lean code for this P0174 on either an Audi Q7 or Volkswagen uh, Touareg with a 3.6 VR6. Common issue with these is these PCV valves will get stuck and cause a lean code. And one way you can confirm that is by pulling off your either your oil filler cap or your dipstick and if you get a ton of hissing like a vacuum leak then you know your PCV system or PCV valve is stuck and unfortunately it's built into the valve cover so you have to replace the whole valve cover and a lot of times they come with a, a gasket make sure it does and the hardest part about this is taking off the intake manifold it's this bad boy here make sure you get a new gasket for that too this fuel rail for the the lower three fuel injectors is going to come off with it so you want to relieve fuel pressure first there are videos out there that say you have to take off the throttle body you don't it's really easy just leave it on there and a lot of videos say to take out your coil packs first i'm going to do it right now before i take off my valve cover I just don't like debris falling down in the spark plug tubes. To relieve fuel pressure here, just by cracking this line open, probably put a rag over it just to keep it from spraying. And a big hurdle I had was I had to disconnect this line right here for the lower fuel rail that's on here. There are three bolts that you'll need to take off from underneath. And they go in here. You'll have three little T20 screws there. This will slide right off. You don't have to take off the intake uh, runner vacuum solenoid you leave that on with the line fully connected and then you'll disconnect it from here off of there you can even leave this plugged in and you're gonna have your main intake manifold bolts here there so you have one two three, four, and then you'll have those three lower ones there. And on this side, you only have to take off this top one. This one only holds on this heat shield. And same with the back side, you only have to take off this one. This holds on the heat shield as well. This will have to come out also. This goes here and you'll have two holes fork screws in that also. Pretty simple to pull out. That's really about it. And of course, when it comes to your valve cover itself, you'll have this sequence here. I'll leave this here for a minute. Removal start, says start with number 17. You work your way down to number one. And then reverse process with 10 Newton meters of torque down. Once you remove anything that has a gasket on it, make sure you clean your surface real good. Put it all back together. I am going to reuse these lower injector seals, but I'm going to put a little bit of synthetic grease on there to help seal it up and kind of rejuvenate the, uh, the rubber. That's about it.